Dr. Newsom, Mr. Warren, Ms. Pettit, Dr. Cal Coffin, Dr. Evans, Dr. Pruden, administration, faculty, staff, parents, guests, and most important, the graduating class of 2008 of Clover Hill High School. At this time, I have on the podium with me, Miss Molly Underwood. This evening, representing the 2008 graduating class of the Chesterfield County Math and Science High School at Clover Hill. Molly can be described as comfortable, confident, independent thinker who does not follow the crowd. She has completed a demanding college preparatory curriculum during her four years in high school. She has definitely left her mark on High School on Clover Hill, as she is the co-creator and artist of the quotes on the wall. Her leadership skills have been evident as the president of the French Club, secretary of the Math and Science Community Council. The one area, however, that has been a passion for Molly is theater. You may have seen her on stage or behind the scenes at various drama productions, throughout the years at Clover Hill or at Theater 4, where she starred this summer in their version of High School Musical. Her teachers say she is honest and trustworthy, well-rounded and accepting of others, and a very creative young lady who enjoys challenges. Miss Underwood wants to pursue a degree in the field of art and will be attending Virginia Commonwealth University in the fall. I am pleased to introduce the 2008 speaker for the Math and Science High School, Miss <laughs> Molly Underwood. Everyone who knows me knows that there is one thing that is very close to my heart. You may have seen me wearing one of the many shirts I own, or maybe you've seen the huge sticker on my car. Yes, I'm talking about Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know you're all rolling your eyes thinking, not Harry Potter. But I assure you, this speech really does have a point. As many, well, all of my friends know, I could spend hours talking about Harry Potter. Rowling's style of writing, uh, character development throughout the series, and of course the plot could keep me going up for days. But this speech isn't about any of that. Really, it's about the last few pages of the last book, the epilogue. To me, the epilogue was a less than great way to end an era in my childhood, but hey, that's my own opinion. However, it was an end. It was an end, it was an end to something that I have been obsessed with since the fourth grade. At the end, there was sort of this hole that I would never really be able to fill. No matter how many more movies came out, there would be no new adventures with Harry, Ron, and Hermione to dive into. Though I would always be able to revisit the adventures I had already read, it was the end. Those words really had never meant so much to me. It's sort of like graduating in a way. Here, we've been in school for 13 years. Wow, 13 years, it really doesn't seem like that long. But here we've been surrounded by our friends, learning some rather important gems of knowledge that we'll never forget. And though most people say they dislike high school, where else is there a place where you can walk down the halls and hear shouted greetings from at least five of your friends? Where else can you learn about Plato and Cromwell and then discuss prom weekend with the person next to you? Pretty much nowhere else but high school. High school is the place where we make our own adventures where we have our own golden trio. I was thinking about it, and high school is like our own personal version of Harry Potter. But then, that means like Harry Potter, our own high school stories have to come to a close. It's weird because when I read Harry Potter, as soon as, as, soon as I finished a book, even if it was the most recent one, I knew that there would be a brand new one on the bookshelves within a year or two. After a while, I began expecting it, ignoring the feeling of closure as the fifth book sixth book and finally the seventh book came out. I'd grown accustomed to thinking, well, another one will be out soon. 
I'd grown so accustomed in fact, accustomed in fact that when I finished the final book, I didn't know what to feel. I, I will always be a huge fan and advocate of the Harry Potter books, but now with the end of the series, it felt like an end to my childhood. The series that had touched my heart was finished. Now what, I was, what was I supposed to do? Read boring adult books? I think not. <laughs> to me, the end of the Harry Potter series felt like an end of, the, of an era in my life. And in a lot of ways, it's the same feeling I get at the end of high school too. Year after year, as we would get released for summer break, there would always be that assurance of, well, come September I'll be back again. No matter how long summer break felt, or how far away we were from our friends, we always knew that we'd return to our friends, our schedule, our comfort zone in September with the start of school. But now with senior year over, and no high school to return to in the fall, what now? We have finished our Harry Potters. Our adventures are over. What now? In Harry Potter, J.K. Rowling summed up Harry's epilogue, his time after school, in three words, 19 years later. And though I don't necessarily like the epilogue, I'm glad she added it. But now it's our turn. It's our turn just to see just what J.K. Rowling meant by 19 years. It's our turn to write our own epilogues, to decide what, just what fills up those 19 years. It's, it's now our turn and no one else's to write our own endings, 19 years later. Thank you. to move towards the platform. This year we have a slightly unique situation when it comes to the salutatorian. When calculating their GPAs, we found that we have a tie between two students. So this year we have two. If I had to describe our first post-salutatorian in one word, creative is the one that comes to mind. Passionate about